All right, in my last two videos on Catan, I talked strategy, both about placing those first two critical settlements at the beginning of the game and basic gameplay strategies. In this video, I wanna take some time to talk about Catan manners. Yeah, I'm serious, manners. Manners about blocking people, about using the robber, about how you trade. We need to learn some manners. Now, don't get me wrong, this is still a video on how to win. I just think that good manners are an important piece of winning. So when you win, everybody can hate you a little less. By the way, I'm assuming you already know how to play Catan. If you don't, go read a rule book and come back to this video. So manners. Let's specifically talk about cutting people off. And what I mean by this is intentionally placing a road or a settlement in a spot that your opponent was clearly building towards. Now you might be saying to yourself, but blocking people off is a good strategy. It slows them down and it speeds me up. This is true, but you just became the bad guy. You might even win that game specifically, but you've now put a label on yourself as someone who is ruthless and people will likely be ruthless back to you and you might not win so many games in the future. Here's the other thing to consider. If you block them off so badly, they think there's no feasible way of winning. They're now more willing to trade with your opponents just so that you lose. Seriously, people get really invested in these games sometimes, myself included. I've seen it happen. Someone gets so jaded that they make all these super dumb and unfair trades with your opponent just to give them all their resources so that your opponent can beat you because they're mad that you blocked them. So basically at that point, you're playing an opponent who has two colors on the board and that just sucks. Which brings me to my second manners tip. If you are in that position, you're the person who got blocked, don't make those really rude trades with opponents just to vindictively get back at the person who blocked you off. That throws the integrity of the game out the window. And the person that you helped win has a shallow victory and nobody truly wants to feel like everyone let them Okay, last thing, robber manners. And this one is actually pretty strategic. When you roll a seven and you get the opportunity to move the robber, keep in mind how vindictive people can be. So it's really important to know the people that you're playing with. Some people really value kindness and if they notice that you're not putting the robber on their stuff, they won't put the robber on your stuff. And I know this isn't a hard set rule. Some people are just really rude and they're gonna rob you no matter how nice or rude you were to them. So if you roll a seven, go ahead and put the robber on their stuff. But for those that care about it, go out of your way to point out that you didn't rob them. You can even pretend like you're going to place it on their stuff even though you weren't intending to. And then ever so kindly point out, no, I'm not gonna put my robber on your stuff. I'm gonna be nice and put it somewhere else. And they'll remember that and they won't place the robber on your stuff. Win-win. Nobody gets robbed, and your momentum gets to continue wonderfully. Now, towards the end of the game, if somebody's clearly in the lead, go ahead and put the robber on their stuff. They might get mad, but at least they won't villainize you. After all, you have a really easy excuse. They're winning. You're just trying to keep the game fair. So there you go. I just taught you Catan manners. What super rude stuff have you seen people do in Settlers of Catan? Go ahead and let me know in the comments. And as always, if you liked this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Or don't, I always feel awkward asking for subscribes. Anyway, thanks again and thanks for not robbing me. Done.